still, I don't like my chances of explaining that to Gordon when he gets here. Oh, now, what have I forgotten? Mom, will you just please calm down? Maybe I need a holiday more than I thought. Yeah, it has been a pretty hectic time for you. Mm. I can't see it slowing down in the near future either. At least we don't have to worry about Webster's threats of an injunction anymore. So, Gordon was right again. I hate to admit it, but yes. Plus, he's promised to square things away with my publisher. Paula Taylor may get to write another children's novel yet. That's great, Mum. I thought so. Once this promotional tour is over, I'll start writing what I love again. Well, let's get you off on this promotional tour before you start planning the rest of your life. There's just one thing I need to settle before I go. Oh, come on, Mum. Gordon's going to be here any second. He can wait. What have you decided about Harry? Um, I've given it a lot of thought. And? He'll be moving in here while you're away. You sure that's what you want? Yes. It's just that before... You know... I know, I know. But I've made my decision, and I'm sure it's the right thing to do. Good. I don't know what's going to happen to the surf club. I mean, since Dad's sponsorship fell through, everything's been a bit up in the air. I had to see the place torn apart. It's good. You should come in sometime for a drink or something. Let's worry about getting this work finished, shall we? Before we organise our social life. You finished scraping off the surround. Sure? Of course I'm sure. Got a photo of Betty and me standing in front of that window. We were married here. <laughs> Before you were thought of, I suppose. She loved this place. Used to come here every Sunday. Rain, hail, shine, always sit in the same place. She insisted on it. God help anyone who got to her pew before her. Yeah, what was so special about it? It was right under that window. The sun had hit it about halfway through the service and Betty would be sitting in the middle of a rainbow. She said it made her feel special. Silly old woman. Didn't need any window to be special. Sorry. Make sure you do a good job of it, eh? OK, let's get moving. Now, I've left the number of Gordon's office. They'll know where we are the whole time, so if there's any problem... Will you stop worrying, Mum? I'll be fine. Call me any time, all right? I think she got the message, Paula. Oh, it's all right for you. You've done this a hundred times. Well, I won't make it a hundred and one if you don't hurry up. OK, OK. I'm going to miss you. Yeah, me too. You sure you'll be all right? Oh, have a good time, Mum. <laughs> You take care of her, won't you? I sure will. You have a good time too, Gordon. Thanks, Loretta. Take care. I will. How about this? 
waterfront restaurant Isle of Capri. Long lease, substantial returns, price on application. Oh, a restaurant. That's something we could think about. That's what I was thinking. It wouldn't be that different from this place, and it's close. Can I give them a call? Well, it says ring after six. So, what can I do to fill in the few hours till then? I know. I might go and stink myself up a bit. Oh, there's something fishy going on here. Have a lovely afternoon, ladies. Oh, we're sure you will. He's in a good mood. <laughs> he isn't the only one. It's amazing what a bunch of flowers can do for the morale. Well, it does give you something to think about. And any idea who this secret admirer is? Someone from school? Oh, Mum, are you kidding? Since when will anyone from school think of doing anything romantic? Who could it be? Someone who's realised what a terrible mistake they made at choosing another woman over me. A woman who walked out on them. Kirk. It'd be just like him to think he can win me back with a few flowers. I should march over there and shove them down his throat. Jory! He deserves that. It might be a better idea to give him the benefit of a doubt. Could be trying to make amends. If that's the case, perhaps you should try doing the same. Maybe. But I've sort of got my heart set on watching him choke on a bunch of carnations. Coming. Oh, am I interrupting? Oh, Mr. Webster. What can I do for you? I've been thinking over what you said about sponsoring a surf club. Oh, yeah? Maybe I've been a bit hasty in rejecting your suggestion. Really? Well, the surf club could show you the money. Actually, it wasn't your surf club I had in mind. Excuse me? Well, Rocky Point are looking for a sponsor, and as I have business dealings in that area, I thought it might prove beneficial if I were to offer my financial services to them. But that's the rival club. No, 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 no. Once I sign up with Rocky Point, Paradise Beach becomes the rival club. And you can see how uh, uncomfortable that could make things. No, I can't. Well, it's only logical I can't sponsor an individual from one club and a rival surf club at the same time, now, can I? No. So, uh... You have some serious decisions to make, don't you? Either you come to Rocky Point with me, or you get yourself another sponsor. You know I can't change clubs. Do you know how much money it takes to outfit you with equipment and travel and training expenses? Where else do you think you're going to get it? Mr. Webster. I'd think about it very carefully if I were you, Sean. Where I stand, you don't seem to have much of a choice. Is that it? Are you giving up already? I'm just trying to get back my circulation. Wasn't that hard, was it? Uh, you reckon? My back's killing. I'm glad to see you're an athlete, boy. Otherwise, you mightn't be able to stand the pace. But the muscles I used to race are fine. The muscles I have to use for this uh, church restoration need a little bit of work. You got the wrong attitude, that's all. Yeah, maybe I have. You know, I think I owe you an apology, Fred. I didn't know where you are coming from. Can't be helped. To you, it's just an old window in an old church. Now, you really must have loved your wife. Do all this work for her. She's a good woman. Stood by me for more years than I care to remember. <laughs> Come on, admire your handiwork. What do you think? I think she would have loved it. So do I. You done well, Kirk. Yeah, we did well. I really appreciate you letting Cassie stay at the shack. It means a lot to her and to us too. Come on, you didn't come all this way just to tell me that. <laughs> no, I've got a doctor's appointment, but I'm only here overnight and I didn't want to miss you. Well, you can stay with us, but it's going to be a bit cramped. Ah, that's okay. Brooks said I can stay with her. I thought about doing this all in one day, but I thought, nope, it's a little too much. Everything all right, is it, for the baby? Yeah, everything's fine. It's just a checkup. I've already cancelled two appointments with everything that's been going on, so I thought I cannot put it off any longer. And you can never be too careful, can you? Not much chance of being anything but careful with an expecting, doting father making sure I don't ever do it. <laughs> How is Tom? Hmm. Well, he's much better now that he can forget about Paula's book and concentrate on organising the nursery. Oh, change of pace really suits him then. Yeah, more than I ever thought it would. 
You know, I don't think he would have coped with all this if it wasn't for the baby. He's more excited about it than I am. Ha, that's understandable. Men don't have to put up with morning sickness. Well, neither have I yet. I would think yourself <laughs> lucky. I was sick every day when I was pregnant with this one. And she never let me forget it? Well, let's hope it's something I will not have to experience. <laughs> Excuse me. So, what's news with you? Everything's good. Um, but I need to ask you something. Fire away. Do you think it's possible Kirk may have changed his mind about me? What do you mean? I got these flowers from a secret admirer. I've been trying to work out who it is, and the only person I can think of is Kirk. A secret admirer doesn't sound like Kirk. He likes to take credit for everything he does. But if it's not him, then who could it be? I don't know. I've thought of every boy I know, and the only possibility is Kirk. Well, maybe it's a friend of his. Sometimes the answer is just under your nose, and you don't see it. But the only friend of his I know is Harry, and he's never shown any interest in me. Well, a secret admirer isn't about to walk around with I Love Tory written on their T-shirt, are they? No, I suppose not. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sean. You look like you're not really with me today. I'm not. Then why are we wasting our time? Sorry. It's just that I had a visit from Webster this morning. And what's on his mind? Sponsorship. Oh. Well, all the more reason to make every workout count. He wants me to change clubs. What? He's putting his money into Rocky Point. Either I go with him, or he pulls him a sponsorship. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. It's a lot of money. Uh, not to Robert Webster, it isn't. To him, it's just a means to getting his own way. You really don't like him, do you? Well, I don't trust him, if that's what you mean. And I didn't appreciate his interference before your last race one little bit. Come on, sit-ups. Well, if he continues as my sponsor, he has the right to interfere as much as he wants. Yeah, doesn't mean I have to like it. And what would you do? Well, it's not up to me. It has to be your decision. Oh, that's not what I asked. Well, I'd tell him to take a flying leap. <laughs> Come on. Are you going to take me up in the upper? Drink at the surf pub? Thanks, anyway. It's been a long day. Okay, maybe some other time. Maybe. How's it all going? Ah, oh, you know, same old thing. Your boy there works hard. If he's got the right incentive. I'm glad to hear it. I'll leave you to it. I'll see you later, Fred. Yeah, he's not so bad old bloke. Finally got to you, eh? reasonable guy it doesn't take that much well let's see if you can be as reasonable on your next job oh what here's the details well, you can't take me away from this job you know fred and i we're just starting to get along this isn't about extending your social circle kirk be there at nine okay
Mr. Webster. Have you read this? No. It doesn't interest me much. Good. It's trash. I still can't understand why Barr's be backed away from having the book stopped. It's only going to do him and me harm. Yeah, well, I don't really know anything about it. Well, it's done now. All that remains to see what I can do to lessen the blow. And sponsoring Rocky Point could be a good start, wouldn't you say? Well, that's what I came to talk to you about. Good. Now, changing clubs can be a bit tricky, but well worthwhile in the long run. I came to tell you that I'm not changing clubs. I like this one. I'm not particularly interested in what you like. You did understand what I said this morning, didn't you? I think so. But there are a lot of reasons to stay here and only one to go with you. Money. I applaud your sense of loyalty to your club, Sean. But I don't understand how you can turn your back on a sponsorship. Well, I wish I didn't have to, Mr. Webster. But you didn't give me much choice, did you? And how do you expect to survive financially if you fly solo? Well, I haven't figured that out yet. But I was doing all right before you came along. I figure I can do it again. You're an idiot, Hayden. You've got a bright future ahead of you with the right backing. You're prepared to throw it all away on a bunch of kids in an old building. It is a second-rate club. I didn't expect you to understand. You're damned right I don't understand. I give you six months, I'll be buying my groceries from you to a supermarket. Really depends on which way the market goes, doesn't it? Hi. Can I join you? Oh, it looks like you already have. Did you have a good day? Sorry, is there something on your mind? No, I was just wondering how things were going for you. Oh, they've been better. Why, wow, what's wrong? Uh, it's this community service thing. They've put me to work with this old guy, Fred, from the church. Sounds terrific for you. Yeah, well, I didn't think so either, but I like him. I don't know why, I just really got to like him. Well, that's good, isn't it? Well, I thought so. You know, he told me about his wife, about why he was restoring the church. I got into it. <laughs> so what's the problem? Well, they're going to take me off the project. Why? Because they can. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. Well, you know, I guess I should have been used to it by now. Every time I think I've got a handle on a relationship, the rug gets pulled out from underneath me. Have you ever wondered whether it's you or them that's the problem? I'm starting to. It's too late for some people. Once the damage is done, you can't really forget it. I know. That's why you and I can only ever be friends, Kirk. I'm sorry, but too much has happened. Hey, well, well, sorry, what are you talking about? You and me. If the flowers are meant to make me forget how you treated me, Kirk, it won't work. It was a nice gesture. Hey, sorry, what flowers? Oh, come on, Kirk, the flowers you sent me. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, you are. I mean, why do you think I would... <laughs> sorry, that is the funniest thing I have heard all week. <laughs> now that was hot. <clears throat> Curry usually is. I think I need some water. I thought we might celebrate our first night together. What a terrific idea. Oh, no, no, I can do that. Nope. Dinner was my treat. You just relax. Good looks. Great cook. What more could a girl ask for? Dessert. Oh, no, no. I think if I eat another thing, the boat will sink under the extra weight. <laughs> then we might leave it till later. You know, if you cook half as well for the surf club dance as you did tonight, then I think we'll make an absolute fortune. <laughs> I can't believe I was actually thinking about going back to the circuit. I cannot possibly leave all this behind. I'm very glad you didn't. Now... I just find a way to get my bike in here, and I'd never have to go outside for the rest of my life. You think I'd share our home with another woman? Our home? It has a nice ring to it, you know. Uh, speaking of which, the dishes won't do themselves. You want to wash or dry? The dishes can wait. Is everything okay? Brooke, you can 
do this. Just one time through and the dance may not be a total flop. Oh, I'm on my way. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> what did the doctor say? Ah, oh, he said I'm fine. Uh, everything's wonderful. And the baby? There is no baby. What are you talking about? I'm not pregnant, Brooke. I never was. Oh, well, there must be a mistake. That's what I said, but they did the test again and they both came back negative. Yeah, but the symptoms. He said it was a reaction to the stress I've been under and probably a bit of wishful thinking. Oh. I'm so sorry, Lisa. Brooke, everything seemed to be improving. We got through the worries of the book and Tom's business falling apart. I really thought this baby was a new beginning for us. I thought everything was going to be okay. It will be. What am I going to tell Tom? Oh, the truth. Tell him that there's been a terrible mistake and you're just going to have to keep trying. I don't even know if that's an option. The doctor said I've got to have some tests to see if I can conceive. Okay, so have the tests. And whatever happens, you and Tom will see it through together. He's going to be heartbroken. This baby is the only thing that's keeping him together. Well, Tom Barsby does not strike me as the sort of person who'd let anything drag him down for too long. You've got to be honest with him, Lisa. I know, but I'm scared. Well, it's not the sort of thing you can hide for too long, you know. I just don't understand why it's all happening. It's like it's a bad dream or something. Well, I've got a feeling Tom might just surprise you, Lisa. You know he loves you. And you love him. I guess that just makes it that much worse, doesn't it? What is going on, Loretta? I'm sorry. I don't get it. What's wrong with you? I don't know. I thought you and I had something special. We do. I care about you a lot. Well, you got a weird way of showing it. I just... I don't feel right about it, Harry. I'm sorry. I can't. Look, forget the whole thing, okay? Where are you going? Out of here. Oh. <laughs> 